Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In this video, I will cover definition and scope of anatomy and physiology. That is the first point you have to study in the semester one, human anatomy and physiology one. Okay, so what are the things you have to study in the human anatomy and physiology one? There are total five units out of that. The first chapter is introduction to human body. In this definition and scope of anatomy and physiology is coming that we will cover in this video itself. Now I will give you a brief idea what are the chapter you have to cover in the semester one human anatomy and physiology. The second chapter is cellular level of organization. The third chapter tissue level of organization. In second unit, you have to study skin, skeletal system and joints. In the third unit, body fluids and blood, then lymphatic system. These two chapters you have to cover in the unit 3. Unit 4 contain two chapters that is peripheral nervous system, peripheral nervous system, then sensory organs except skin, sensory organs. Then the last unit contain cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular system means heart and blood related to heart and blood vessels. These are the five units you have to study for the semester one human anatomy and physiology one. Now let's begin with the definition and scope of anatomy and physiology. Before going to the definition, we will see the heart. Suppose this is a heart bisection. So you know that this part is called the upper portion of the heart is called atrium and the lower part that is called ventricle. So here it is atrium, here it is ventricle. Then this is the right atrium. So when your heart is occupying here in this space, so the right side that is called right atrium, that is this part is right atrium and the, this part that is the left atrium. Okay, the left side uppermost area part is left atrium. This one is lower part right side that is right ventricle and this one is left ventricle. You already know these things. This one we are studying in the higher secondary school. So here it is right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. These are the structures of the human heart. So the study about the structure of body parts is called anatomy. Study about the structure of a body part is called anatomy. The word anatomy is came from two words that is ana and tomi. Ana means up, tomi means process of cutting. These two words ana and tomi combined and came the word anatomy. Up and process of cutting. So it is the science of body structure. It is the science which deals with the study of body structure and the relationship among them. Anatomy is the science which deals with the study of body structure and the relationship among them. That is called anatomy. Hope you understood this one. What is anatomy? It is the science which deals with the study of body structure and the relationship among them that it's called anatomy so here we know the different parts of the human heart and here it is SA node suppose this is SA node here it will be AV node hope you know these things SA node AV node then it's uh, here it is bundle of his this side then Purkinje fibers all these things are here for the rhythmic contraction electric excitation will be there Electrical excitation is coming from, originating from the SA node. That is why SA node is known as pacemaker. That is why SA node is known as pacemaker. Why? Because the electric excitation for the contraction of the heart is originating from the SA node. That is why it's called pacemaker. This thing you already studied in the higher secondary school. This is the SA node. Here it is the SA node. Okay. Then here it is AV node. Okay. Then bundle of his Purkinje fibers. Okay. So the electrical excitation, the rhythmic electrical excitation originating from the SA node is propagating into the AV node 
and from the it is transmitted through bundle of his then into the Purkinje fibers. Okay, this is the functions of SA node, AV node, and bundle of his. These are the functions. So SA node is originated from the SA node. The electrical excitation, rhythmic electrical excitation, is originating. So that is the function of SA node. So the study about the function is called physiology. Okay, the study about the body function is called physiology. The word physiology is came from physio and logi. Logi, you know, that is science or study. Okay, pharmacology, you know, pharmacology. That is logi. That logi is related to study or science. And here also physiology. That is logi means study or science. Physio means nature. Nature. So, what is the physiology? Which is the science which deals with the study of body function. It is the science which deals with the study of body function. How the body is functioning. How the body parts are functioning. Here the senor function is origination of rhythmic electrical excitation. That is the function of SA node in the heart. So each and every parts of the human heart have their own function. So we will study the different function of different parts through physiology. So we will study the structure in anatomy. We will study the function in physiology. We will study how the body parts are working in the physiology. That is the physiology. Now we will look for the scopes of anatomy or sub-disciplines or subdivisions of anatomy. The first one is embryology. Embryology. What is embryology? It is the study of first eight weeks of development. It is the study of first eight weeks of development after fertilization of human egg. It is the study of first eight weeks of development after the fertilization of human egg. That is embryology. That is the first discipline or subdivision of anatomy. The second one that is developmental biology. Developmental biology. That is the second one. That is the study of the complete development of an individual from fertilization to the death. It is the complete development. Here it is. It is the study of complete development. Okay. Here, first eight weeks of development, development after fertilization. Here it is. What is development in biology? It is the study of complete development of an individual from the fertilization to the death. That is called developmental biology. The next one, cell biology. What is cell biology? It is the study of cellular structure and function. Cell biology is the study of cellular structure and function. So if you, the question came, what is the definition and scope of anatomy? You have to write the definition of anatomy that I already discussed before. And what are the scopes? These are the scopes. Now we already discussed two. This is the third one that is cell biology. Now it's coming. So what is cell biology? Study of cellular structure and function. Now we are going to the next one that is histology. Histo, the word histo itself means is the tissue. Histo means tissue. Logi, that is we already studied. Logi, that is physiology. That is physiology. Physio means nature. Logi means science or study. So it is the study about the tissue. Okay. It is the study of microscopic structure of the tissue. That is called histology histology next one gross anatomy gross anatomy okay it is the study of structures that can be examined without the microscope without the microscope we can study the structure that is gross anatomy in gross anatomy we will study the different structures that can be that can be examined without the help of microscope Okay, next one, systemic anatomy, systemic anatomy, here it is, 
This is without the microscope. No need of microscope for this one. Gross anatomy. Here, systemic anatomy. Next one, systemic anatomy. It is the study of specific system of the body. We know that different systems are there in the human body. That is respiratory system, cardiovascular system, and nervous system. These all are different system that is working in our body. So systemic anatomy is study about a specific system. Study about CVS. Study about nervous system. This is called systemic anatomy. Next one is regional anatomy. Regional. The word regional means it's this particular region. It is the study about a particular region of uh, of body. Study of any region of the body. That means study about the head region. Study about neck region. Study about this uh, abdominal region. Like that. So system. This is the regional anatomy. So we already discussed this thing. The next one is surface anatomy. Surface anatomy. Surface anatomy is study of anatomical landmark. That is, is the study of about the surface where the organ is located, how the organ is placed. So that is the surface anatomy, study of anatomical landmark. Suppose in case of heart, what is the heart landmarks? Landmarks. When we are talking about heart, landmark of heart, we know that heart is located in the mediastinum. It is located in the mediastinum and it is covered posteriorly and laterally by lungs. Am I correct? It is covered by posteriorly, it is covered posteriorly and laterally by two lungs and anteriorly by sternum. Am I correct? Le uh, heart is located in the mediastinum in the anterior part sternum is there in lateral two sides and also in the posterior sides lungs are situated am i correct this is the landmark of heart okay the study about the landmark anatomical landmark that is called surface anatomy next one is imaging or radiographical anatomy imaging or radiographic anatomy radiography that means in our mind whenever someone is saying radiography it's coming x-rays in our mind am i correct so what is the imaging or radiographic anatomy it is the study of structures that can be seen with the x-ray that can be seen with the x-rays that is radiographic anatomy the next one Pathological anatomy. Pathological means pathology. That is the study about the diseases. So it is the study of pathological anatomy means it is the study of structural changes. It is the study of structural changes associated with the disease. It is the structural changes associated with the disease. That is the pathological anatomy. So what are the scopes of anatomy or sub-disciplines or maybe sub-divisions of anatomy? Then one is embryology, then developmental biology, cell biology, histology, gross anatomy, systemic anatomy, regional anatomy, surface anatomy, imaging or radiographic anatomy, pathological anatomy. So these are the different uh, sub-disciplines of anatomy. If you don't know this thing or if you don't have a notes regarding this thing, this topic, you can write it down from here itself. Okay. Hope it's clear. Now we will move to the next part that is scope of physiology. So we discussed scope of anatomy. Now we will discuss scope of physiology or sub-disciplines of physiology. The first one is neurophysiology. Neuro means nerve it is related to nerve physiology is it's the study of function body function so what is neurophysiology it is the study of functional properties of nerve cell it is the study of functional properties of nerve cell that is called neurophysiology the second one is endocrinology endocrine organs what are the endocrine organs what they are producing that is hormones endocrine organs are producing hormones so what is endocrinology it is the subdiscipline of physiology that is related to study of functional properties of hormones and how they control the body function that is called endocrinology endocrinology next one is cardiovascular physiology 
Cardiovascular means heart and blood vessel. So, what is cardiovascular physiology? It is the study of functions of heart and blood vessels. That is coming under cardiovascular physiology. Here, everywhere you can see this function, functional, functional. So, why it is coming? Because this is a discipline, some discipline of physiology. Physiology is related to function. So, that's why it is coming functions. So, the next one is immunology. What is immunity? Immunity is defense. It's the ability to defend against a disease causing agent. That is called immunity. So, what is immunology? It is the study about how body defends, how the body defends itself against the disease causing agent. That is immunology. Study about how the body defends, how the body defends against disease causing agent. That is called immunology. Next one is respiratory physiology. It is physiology which is related to respiratory system. That is study of functions of the air passageway and lungs. It is the study of functions of air passageways and lungs. That is called respiratory physiology. Then renal physiology. Renal means kidney which is related to kidney. So what is renal physiology? It is the study of functions of kidney. That is renal physiology exercise physiology this is the physiology during exercise that is study of changing cell and organ function study of changing cell and organ function as a result of muscular activity muscular activity that is exercise so when we are doing an exercise muscular activity occurs at that time it is not like a normal method we need something extra energy to do the muscular activity at that time cell and organ function will be little bit different compared to the normal method so this is the exercise in exercise physiology study of change in cell and organ function as a result of muscular activity that is called exercise physiology the last one pathophysiology patho related to diseases so what is pathophysiology it is the study of functional changes associated with the disease and aging that is pathophysiology these are the different sub disciplines of physiology so if you don't have notes you can write it on this thing in your notebook and you can study this thing hope it's clear if you like this video please make thumbs up and also share this video with your college friends and also in the college whatsapp group thank you